What is up, people? On the June livestream last month, Steven teased some significant changes to the world map leading up to the launch of Alpha 2, changing it up a bit from the map that we have been waiting to jump into for years. And now, thanks to Reddit, we know a bit more about what those changes entail. But before we dive into these changes, though, we made some solid ground last week, but there is still 86% of you who watch this channel who aren't subscribed. And if you're clicking on my videos, I know you like Ashes of Creation or are interested in it, so subscribe subscribe because there's more content to come. Anyways, back to the map. A few days ago, Steven headed to Reddit to comment on a thread about the full map for the game release and posted that the map has undergone significant changes during the Alpha 2 development. A good portion of these changes were made to support the larger naval influences and the land slash sea trade route system. We will elaborate further in future updates. Now, we knew that naval content was going to be a big part of Vera, but Intrepid must have really high hopes for this now if they are making significant changes based around this feature. Feature. But I really have no idea what exactly they would have done for the map for it to further benefit naval influences unless they reshaped the world into three continents, which would give even more passage between continents and allow for more options when it comes to trade. Again, this is just my guess. I doubt this actually happened, but I really don't know. So let me know in the comments what you think they did. But Intrepid could have also potentially even added more rivers or widened the rivers as well so ships could get more inland during trades. It is even possible that these significant changes have been more focused around the Riverlands. This is a zone that we know they've been working on a lot lately, as seen in the live stream. In each video, we see more and more shots of ships flowing through this small lake area, which I have decided is a spot on the map based on nothing more than it's a tiny island and we see a tiny island. So don't take my word for it. This has always been one of those zones that I thought would rely heavily on trade as it has all the passages from sea leading into it, along with rivers connecting it through the desert biome as well, which could create some pretty solid trade routes. We also have this photo in question that I pointed out in one of my earlier videos that show what appeared to be the dwarf area in the Riverlands, which according to the map doesn't really make much sense, so it wouldn't surprise me if this is one of those zones that's getting a big makeover. Honestly though, the map changes are expected in some way as they continue to build and develop the world, because the map is one of the most important parts of an MMO, and in a game like Ashes that Intrepid is building up, there can be no stale parts of the world like other MMOs because we don't have level specific zones. You can't just hit max level and forget about the older zones because as a node develops, these zones will change and may pull you back into them. Especially when key economic components are tied into the map like the caravans and zone specific resources. You want to be able to provide solid trade routes which will require good land and sea passage. My thoughts on why Intrepid hasn't shown us this map though but keep teasing it is because they are not done yet. Steven doesn't like showing things early before they're in a present state and in the most recent dev update discussion it is on whether you'd like to see traditional MMO maps that once explored update with the ever-changing state of the world or if the player wants a more innovative way to keep the maps up to date this discussion which by the way link is in the description if you want to contribute tells me that they are just beginning work on more of the maps for the game and potentially haven't shown the map changes because they aren't going to put in all that work to the maps and then change how they make the maps and have to redo them so I think this discussion is definitely lining up with the world changes. Also, the world itself is far from complete as we head into Alpha 2, so having finalized maps wouldn't really make that much sense, especially as more and more is going to change as we go along, but this doesn't mean that we won't see some basic continental maps. In the dev discussion, there is a gif of a globe spinning as well, which I stared at for hours thinking that there was some sort of tease in it with the map changes. But in the end, all I really noticed was the map was inverted from what we have seen, but doesn't have any actual changes other Otherwise. So to me, this solidifies even more that those significant changes, as Steven said, probably haven't quite been taken to the map stage yet. I'm quite interested into how impactful these changes are, and hopefully they are something that we get to see sooner rather than later, especially with a lot of these changes being due to naval content, which this feature is one of my most anticipated for Ashes, so seeing it be something Intrepid is putting a lot of care into is pretty exciting. What are your thoughts on the map changes that Intrepid is doing? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to do so using my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.